Here we are at 1610 Wesleyan, uh, Dayton, Ohio. And this particular landlord, he fell asleep, okay? He kept rents too low. Right now, he should be renting it for $12.50. And if he was renting it for $12.50, guess what? You guys wouldn't be able to buy it for $99.9. What in the hell is the 1% rule? The 1% rule, folks, means, generally speaking, if you have a property and you could rent it for 1% of its value, of its cost, you're probably going to make money, right? Welcome to the Investing Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. I love Dayton, man. Dayton is one of the best cash flow markets in the USA. Why? Because of deals like this one. 1610 Wesleyan Road, all right? Coming to y'all, 99.9, okay? $100,000, right? What's $100 between friends, right? This is why people love Dayton, okay? You got what we like to call in the business the 1% rule, y'all. What does that mean? What in the hell is the 1% rule? The 1% rule, folks, means, generally speaking, if you have a property and you could rent it for 1% of its value, of its cost, you're probably going to make money, right? So if you have a $100,000 house and you rent that thing for $1,000 a month, under normal situations and circumstances, you're generally going to make money. You generally know you made a good investment, right? But in 2024, with housing prices going through the freaking roof, there are few, few, very few markets, cities, where you can still hit and even exceed the 1% rule. But guess what, y'all? Dayton, Ohio is one of the few where you can still exceed the 1% rule. Now, you might be looking at this like, but James, that's not, that's not even hitting the 1% rule, man. It's been 100 grand, but it's only 900 rent, right? You might be like, whoa, house has the rent for 1,000 for it to hit the 1% rule. What's this idiot preaching? Yes, you're right. Currently, currently, it is not hitting the 1% rule, and that, folks, is the real value. It not hitting the 1% rule today as I talk to you is why you're going to be able to buy it for a price that allows you to exceed the 1% rule because the seller, the owner, the landlord, they're asleep at the wheel, y'all. You fall asleep at the wheel, you could end up with some bad juju in your face, man. You don't want to pull a Paul Walker. No, you got to be paying attention, y'all. You got to be paying attention. Put your foot on the pedal. Not as hard as Paul did, though. That was too hard. But the focus needs to be on where is the market going. And this particular landlord, he fell asleep, okay? He kept rents too low. Right now, he should be renting it for $12.50. And if he was renting it for $12.50, guess what? You guys wouldn't be able to buy it for 99.9 and far exceed the 1% rule when you get the rent up to market rent, right? And guess what? This is Dayton, Ohio, y'all. You know what it ain't? It ain't California. It ain't Los Angeles. It ain't San Diego, San Jose. It ain't that dirty shithole Portland. It ain't New York City, right? What do all those cities have in common? Well, hey, they're friggin' expensive, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is in all those cities, y'all, you got like rent control and all kinds of other crazy government regulations to deal with. We don't have that here in Dayton. No. All you got to do when your tenants, one year lease is up in a couple months, they'll be then a month to month tenant. All you got to do to raise that rent, that $350, is just issue a 30 day notice, guys. That's all you need to do in Ohio. Just issue a 30 day notice. That's it. 30 days. Hey, yo, your rent was nine. Now it's twelve fifty, and they're probably not going anywhere because where else are they gonna go? There's really no there's no more nine hundred dollar a month rentals, guys. This is where the market is, right? This is why real estate is so good because everybody's selling the particular product. They're not necessarily professional landlords. So sometimes they make mistakes. They don't professionally manage their properties and it allows us to come in, take advantage, and put together really good deals, right? So all you gotta do. Issue a 30-day notice. Boom! Rent goes up to 1250 and you are killing it. You're far exceeding 
the 1% rule. There ain't no rent control. There ain't no government agency in Ohio that's going to be like, well, sir, you're actually only able to increase the rent by X amount of percentage, blah, 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 some other liberal fucking circle jerk bullshit. We don't have that here. And that, folks is why you want to be investing in red states, red states like Ohio, and one of the best cities in Ohio to invest is Dayton because you get deals like this. If that makes sense for you and you're interested in putting in an offer, great. Send it to my team, sales at holtonwise.com, right? You don't need to, like, drop a contract. I will do that for you. All you got to do is let me know. Like, hey, man, I saw the video, 1610 Wesleyan. I would like to buy it. My offer is $99.9. I want to pay cash. Here's my proof of funds. Or I want to... Get a bank loan, James. Here's my pre-approval letter. Or, hey, for those of you that want to buy it with the bank loan, you don't even have a letter, don't you worry, man. Your boy, James, is here for you. Just say, yo, I want to buy it for 99 but I need your lenders, James. And I will supply you with lenders, folks. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's get that cash flow. Here we are at 1610 Wesleyan, uh, Dayton, Ohio. Do a quick pan here of the... Uh, neighboring houses this is the home we're looking at here do a quick pan around here let's check the outside out before we go and do an inside tour pretty nice little brick house nice driveway check this out here some older window See here, backyard. A little awning. Nice size backyard. Block basement windows. Looks like we could use some uh, some fascia up there. Uh, I would say that's a window unit, but it looks like it's a built-in unit into the, the wall. Uh, we'll block windows, chimney. Backyards of these houses are pretty well kept. But let's walk back over here. Garage door, single car garage. Nice little front porch. It's gonna be my first time looking inside, same time you guys are in here. Let's check it out. Go into the, walk right into the living room. Window, obviously. Fireplace. A little dining area. Let's walk into the kitchen here. We got the kitchen, microwave, cabinets. Let's see here. Go check out the downstairs. We'll do the. Uh, we'll check out the probably the water heater and the furnace and stuff. So going downstairs. Got a nice wide staircase. Check it out down here. So we're doing a little bit of work here. Basically, just clean this out. A little bit of work going on. Yep. Not too bad. Let's look over here. Washer and dryer. To the meter. Let's go over here and check out the. Electrical panel. It's like a newer panel. A newer panel. Water heater. It must be the old one. Check this new one out here. Newer water heater. A.O. Smith. Here's the furnace. looking furnace at all Pardon? check that out looks pretty good looks good get you a view of that 
Go back around over here. Everything looks pretty solid here. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Check out some blowing here. You can see. Not bad at all. Let's uh we'll head upstairs and do another keep doing our walk around here. There's a door leading to the outside. We'll we'll open that one up. <laughs> but go in here to the hallway. Check this uh it's a bedroom out here. Bedroom here. We won't go in too far, but closet, two windows, bathroom. Oh, look at me. <laughs> toilet, bathtub. So we got a closet in here. Closet. We'll just, we'll just leave that shut. It's good. Another bedroom here. Two windows, closet. Nice, nice. Check it out. Thermostat. And let's check out the upstairs here. Walk up the stairs. <clears throat> Pretty cool wood paneling. It's a pretty cool upstairs here. Check it out. Little attic area. Some electric there. This a little bedroom. Looks like somebody doing a rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. What's in here? So you got some storage. Here's the air conditioner we showed. A window. But upstairs is it's a pretty cool little little space up here. Yeah. Most of these houses over here come with this panel in it. Yeah. Let's see. It was built in 1949. Oh wow. Yeah. Nice little storage area there. Go back downstairs, I'll give you another little view, and then we'll conclude our tour here. Right. You already done the outside? Yes, sir. All right. So we got a window here, kitchen, yep. living room, and then there's the entrance. But this will conclude our tour for 1610 Wesley. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.